Hello teacher, hello students, welcome to today's lesson. Students, in our previous lesson, we've discussed the product life cycle. The product life cycle depicts graphically a product sales volume from being introduced to the market up to its withdrawal from the market. The product life cycle goes through multiple phases that involve many professional disciplines and requires many skills, tools, and process. Product life cycle includes the following stages. Introduction stage, growth stage, maturity stage, decline stage. Today, we will be discussing the different types of retail establishments. A retailer is an intermediary that buys goods from producers or other middlemen and sells to the final consumers. Retailers are the final links between producers and consumers. They sell not only physical goods but also services such as repairs, haircuts and tailoring. Some retailers sell both goods and services. For example, an automobile dealer may sell automobiles and provide maintenance service to its customers. Students, please note that retailers sell not only physical goods, but also they sell services such as repairs, haircuts, tailoring, etc. Some retailers sell both goods and services. For example, an automobile dealer may sell automobiles and maintenance services to its customers. Students, now it is time to do some exercises. It's a group exercise, so form small groups consisting of four members. Give some examples of retail establishments in your locality.
Students, did you enjoy the discussion? I'm sure you did. Now let's do the possible answers together. Some examples of retail outlets found in our locality may include kiosks, boutique shops, stationeries, bookshops, barber houses, beauty salons, cafeterias, internet cafes, etc. Students, do you know how retailers are classified? There are different bases of classifying retail outlets. Generally, retail outlets can be grouped into two, store retailers and non-store retailers. Store retailers are those retail outlets that carry inventories in their warehouses and sell to final consumers. Store retailers, for example, kiosks, bookshops, boutiques, etc. On the other hand, non-store retailers are those retail outlets which have no warehouses. Non-store retailers, for example, online selling or e-commerce. Students, now it is time to do an activity. As it is a group exercise, form small groups consisting of four members. Identify store retailers and non-store retailers in your locality. Students, did you enjoy the discussion? Now let's do the possible answers together. 
Some examples of retail stores that are found in our locality may include kiosks, stationeries, bookshops, supermarkets, beauty salons, internet cafes, traditional coffee houses, barber shops, garages, etc. Students, on the basis of the size, kind, and numbers of products that they carry, store retailers can be classified into the following categories. Department stores, discount stores, catalog and warehouse showrooms, convenience stores, supermarkets, super stores, warehouse clubs, specialty store. Now let's discuss about each type of retail establishment in detail. A department store is a large retail establishment consisting of several sections or departments that sell a wide assortment of products. Department stores are service oriented. They provide credit, delivery, personal assistance, liberal returns policies, and pleasant shopping atmospheres. A discount store is a self-service general merchandise outlet that sells goods at lower than usual prices. These stores offer lower prices by operating small profit margins, by locating large retail showrooms in low rent areas, and by offering minimal customer services. Discount stores operate on the basic principle of high turnover of the items they offer. To attract customers, discount stores may offer some goods and household items at low prices. A catalog showroom is a retail outlet that displays well-known brands. Catalogs can be available in the showroom and sometimes by mail. The customer selects the items either from the catalog or from the showroom display. Then the customer fills out an order form provided by the store and hands over to the sales clerk. The sales clerk retrieves the items from a warehouse showroom that is adjacent to the selling area. Warehouse showrooms are retail facilities with the following five basic characteristics. They are large, low-cost buildings. They use warehouse materials handling technology such as crane or ladder. They are vertical merchandise displays. They have large on-process inventories. They provide minimal service. A convenience store is a small food store that sells a limited variety of products but remain open beyond the normal business hours. Their prices are high since they are open for long hours such as up to midnight or sometimes for 24 hours. Students, so far we have seen department stores, discount stores, catalog and warehouse showrooms, and convenience stores. Let's continue our discussion on the remaining types of store retailers. A supermarket is a large self-service store that sells primarily food and household products. It stocks canned, fresh, frozen, and processed foods, paper products, and cleaning goods. Supermarkets can also sell such items as housewares, toiletries, toys and games, drugs, stationery, books and magazines, plants and flowers, and some clothing items. Supermarkets are large-scale operations that emphasize low prices and one-stop shopping 
for household needs. As the name implies, a superstore is a large retail store that carries both food and non-food products larger than a supermarket. Superstores also provide a number of services to the entire customers. The Warehouse Club is a large-scale members-only establishment that combines cash and carry wholesaling features with discount retailing. A specialty store carries a narrow product mix with deep product lines. They are sometimes called limited line stores. Students, now it's time to do the last exercise. Form small groups consisting of four members and get ready for the exercise. List the different types of retail stores and discuss the differences among them. Students, did you enjoy the discussion? Good. Now let's do the exercise together. The different types of retail stores include department stores, discount stores, catalog and warehouse showrooms, convenience stores, supermarkets, super stores, warehouse clubs, specialty store. A department store is a large retail establishment consisting of several sections or departments that sell a wide assortment of products. A discount store is a self-service general merchandise outlet 
that sells goods at lower than usual prices. A catalog showroom is a retail outlet that displays well-known brands. Warehouse showrooms are retail facilities of large and low-cost buildings with minimal service. A convenience store is a small food store that sells a limited variety of products but remain open beyond the normal business hours. A supermarket is a large self-service store that sells primarily food and household products. The Warehouse Club is a large-scale members-only establishment that combines cash and carry wholesaling features with discount retailing. A specialty store carries a narrow product mix with deep product lines. Students, before we wind up today's lesson, let me summarize what we have been discussing so far. In today's lesson, we've learned about the different types of retail stores together with their peculiar characteristics. The main types of retail stores are department stores, discount stores, catalog and warehouse showrooms, convenience stores, supermarkets, super stores, warehouse clubs, specialty stores. Next time, we will be discussing the marketing mixes promotion. Till then, goodbye teacher. Goodbye, students.